Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Alicia here, Mocking Gary on a free. Um, I was gonna say make sure you subscribe, but you haven't really seen anything yet, so maybe keep your finger pressed on that subscribe button and if you like something you can release it and you will be subscribed um i try and post videos every sunday and today we are reacting to the next step dance mania front row which is the final of the extras that they have been making well they have made um i've reacted to the dance dilemmas the elevating black dancers series the dance captain diary series and now Dance Mania front row. Now these mini series things have been released in the UK on BBC iPlayer and CBBC. Um, TNS are doing their best to try and release them worldwide, I'm pretty sure, so hang in tight. It's a lot more complicated than just, you know, hit and upload on YouTube and things like that. So I'm gonna be reacting today to Dance Mania front row. I'm your host, Fred Rico. The next step dance their way into your hearts. Can I stop it there? He's describing the next step um, being disqualified, but the first clip they showed was of Rochelle. Rochelle was not dancing as part of the next step and I know that they're probably going to lead into oh Rochelle is from the next step but she was competing solo but I feel like you should just be focusing on the next step and not Rochelle yet. Please welcome the next step. Hello next step, who have we got? Yes, yeah, so we've got Rochelle here. Um, I feel like they maybe could have introduced and we also have Rochelle and then brought her in separately. We're only missing Isaiah, oh we're also missing Noah who plays Kingston, Isaiah who plays Henry and Sage who plays Summer. So we're missing three key members of A Troop, but yeah, maybe they should have said we have some of A Troop. Thank you so much for having us, Rodrigo. I really like Kenzie's hair. Um, like she had it curly in the Dance Mania Diary series, but this what, did I say Dance Mania? Dance Captain Diary series. Um, it's a bit frizzier and like has more volume in this one. I like it, I think it suits her a bit more. It still totally blows my mind that we have fans. Us fans! Sorry, that sounded quite wooden then. <laughs> like, it was just a bit wooden, like, it still blows my mind that we are fans, real fans. It, like, I, it just felt a bit scripted, you know what I mean? We haven't seen Ozzy in any of these series though, so it's nice to see him. And, wait, only eight of us are here, where's everyone else? Oh, thank you, Briar, thank you, Rochelle. They've only just realized that they're missing three people. Well, they weren't online when we sent out the invite. Not online. Can you even imagine? They went online when we sent out the invite. When did you send the invite? Five minutes ago? For a show as big as Dance Mania it supposedly is, they probably would have sent the invitation to join the call like a week ago, prepped them, made sure they had a brief idea of what they were going to talk about, and then waited for the responses to come back. They wouldn't have just been not online. Maybe they could have said like, they declined to speak to us after the way that we behaved or something like that. I don't know. Or just made up an excuse, like I'm sure Amy said before that Henry's busy with music. Um, Lily could have said, oh yeah, Kingston's with Henry and Summer... I don't know. <laughs> just something more than that. That was a bit like, mm. We had to do it. We're a team. But we really thought we blew our chance of becoming professional dancers one day. Yeah. You did. You got your contract ripped up. Remember? We now know that our dreams can still come true. Of course, you haven't burned your dance careers to the ground yet. So they can still become professional dancers, what? I don't understand. Right, I'm gonna look up each of these speech balls. We've got, ah, I love this team from Izzy Beans. That might be Izzy, Ozzy's sister, I don't know. We've got hashtag Amy is the moments. Um, I literally want to be hashtag Kenzie. Vamos! Amo este equipo! Is that like, let's go! This is the best team. Is it a equipo team? I feel like it might be. Yes, yes, yes. Here for this. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi! Swinging Hammer 97 says, here for the drama. I can't believe they're back. We've got a big iconic up there. We've got, where do I sign up? I want to be on this, the, I want to be on the, this team. You can't put all these speech bubbles in and not expect people to read them, thank you. Ah, I taught your Alice dance to my class last week. Such a good dance. How is it humanely possible to dance like hashtag Rochelle? Very true. And then we've got Superstar M46 who says, ugh, these guys again. <laughs> so, the front row that you see here, Ozzy, Kenzie, Finn and Lily are the dancers that the audience love the most. Oh, that's controversial. 
actually no, I would have expected Ozzy to be in the front row after his musical theatre performance. I also would have probably expected Rochelle to be quite loved by the audiences unless they think that like, oh she's such a traitor. I don't know. I don't really feel like Lily or Finn, maybe Finn because he was like in, I, I don't know. And the back row? Yeah, the fans don't like you. Is this an actual show that they do for Dance Mania? Because like, I don't feel like this is very professional. Imagine you're getting on this group of dancers. Let's pretend it's a show like Britain's Got Talent or something. And you have on diversity. And you say, yep, you four are the best dancers. The rest of you are in the back row. They don't like you. Not very professional. It's not how you build up a good relationship, is it? You were outshone by your fellow dancers. If we're going to the Alice dance, I think Summer killed the Alice dance. Um, Amy was great in character. Piper also, I feel like, killed it. I think Heath and Ozzy were great in that routine also. I feel like Lily was kind of in the background a bit. Finn also in the background a little bit. I think Heath was good in that dance. One by one, someone from the back row will battle someone from the front row for their spot. A spin of the wheel decides the challenge. The fans decide your fate. So we're ultimately gonna find out who are the best four dancers in Dance Mania's eyes. Okay, but I mean, if the fans voted and they chose Kenzie, Lily, Ozzy and Finn as their fave four, then they are the fave four. You can't really battle the others to find out if they're correct. Do you know what I mean? The winner wins a spot in the front row, the love of the fans and a chance to make their dance dreams come true. But what is this, a chance to make their dance dreams come true? What is that? Like, are they going to give them a contract? Money? What do they get? Also, gonna say, I love Briar's shirt that she's wearing. We don't often see her in that kind of colour. If you want a career after what happened at Dance Mania, this is how you get it. You want the fans to love you, right? Definitely. After all, we wouldn't be here without them. Then you're all in? If it's the only way to save our dance careers, I guess we have to be. I mean... If it's the only way to save our dance careers, it's not, is it? I mean, they already said they don't really want to be a part of Dance Mania, and then they were like, yes, we're going to go back to nationals now. It's kind of like they're backtracking. And... Mm. Oh, do you know what, though? If the four that make it onto the front row get the chance to be professional dancers, that might give them an exit for season eight if they don't want to be a part of it. So maybe this is going to be, like, foreshadowing the cast members that want to leave. And in storyline... For, for storyline purposes, I would like Michelle to leave. I feel like her character's been fully explored, even though she's going to be dance captain now. I don't really feel like there's much left to get from her character. I want Michelle to leave, Ozzy can leave, Lily can leave, another fan of Lily. I don't know, Finn can maybe... No, I don't, Michelle, Ozzy and Lily, I'd be happy if they left. I don't want to let our fans down. Yeah, yeah but what if it makes our fans happy? The nickname gets us a chance to be professional dancers. Battle as hard as we can to make it happen. Agreed? Okay, yeah, yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Cool. Yeah. Cool. My nickname. I really love Alex Shaves. I think she's she's brill. <laughs> and since the show, you've been working hard to become a leader at the next step, is that right? Yeah. One day I want to become dance captain and then a professional dancer and maybe even start my own company one day. Let's have a guess at who they're gonna pair Kenzie with. Michelle. Probably. Rochelle. Hey, Rochelle. Hi, Kenz. <laughs> Rumor has it that you and Kenzie are friends. Rumor has it. Rochelle, the fans put you in the back row because they blame you for the next step disqualification. At Gold Lining says if TNS had danced without Rochelle, they would totes have won. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's not Rochelle's fault. Like, the next step agreed to it. And at Superstar M46 says, I think the next step was better without Rochelle. Hashtag dancezilla. Hashtag Danzilla. That, that's what the episode was called, wasn't it? When um, Michelle returned in season six. I like that little reference, if it's meant to be a reference. We need a Danzilla. Hey guys. There's our Danzilla. What's the next step better without Michelle? Do you know what? I reckon the Alice dance would have been just as good. Controversial opinion. How did they know about Danzilla? The fans want- How do they know about Danzilla? Yes, see. Serve us up some saucy biz cash and go. Oh, okay. Do you know what? Rochelle, you've got this. I feel like that is such a flattering outfit. I love that color top. Yes, and I love those jeans. Please, Briar. 
if you could drop the link for those jeans, I'd like them. Kenzie, I feel like the dress is okay in the top half. I feel like you might have worn that in the Dance Dilemmas. Is that what the series was? Um, not a fan of it being a dress though. I don't feel like it's the most flattering fit. Yeah, so Rochelle has won this one for me. Oh, not a fan of the back of Rochelle's jeans though, that little turn up bit. I like the front though. You're at home, burning the midnight oil. Your most casual, comfy, yet dance captainy lounge work look, go! I'm gonna go for Rochelle again, actually. Oh, I don't know, because if I was being really comfy at home, I would not be wearing jeans. So I've got Kenzie for leggings, um, but then jumpers. I love Kenzie's jumper, I would wear that, but I feel like the other one looks so comfy and cozy, and I also love Rochelle in glasses. I'm gonna go for Rochelle again, actually. People cheer as you walk to the stage in your fanciest outfit to collect your award, and go. I'm going for Kenzie with this one, because I just feel like Rochelle's is very basic. It's just like a t-shirt and a skirt. I feel like Kenzie's, even though it is just jeans and a nice top, I feel like it's a nice top and it's an outfit. I just feel like Rochelle's is just, it's just too plain. I think it's because it's black as well. It just looks very black. So Rochelle's my winner. She got two out of three. And the winner is Kenzie. I disagree, but you know what, that's fine. <laughs> well, most of the feedback was about you and how you're technically not part of the next step according to the official Dance Mania cast list. What do you mean? Uh, of course I'm part of the team. I'm yeah, but Rochelle, you didn't enter as part of the next step, did you, for Dance Mania? You entered as a soloist, so yeah. I do feel like she shouldn't have been involved in this and it should have just been a troop and then maybe like later on they could have been like, oh, we've now got a secret guest, it's Rochelle, and then try and get the expose on why they combined to tell all the fans the reason. Hashtag Rishexit is trending and we're all about giving the fans what they want. So thanks for being here. Bye bye. Wait, what? Wait, so Rochelle's just gone? Out of the game. I mean, it's not real, is it? So it's just so like, <laughs> whatever. This is just giving them more disrespect for Dance Mania. And to be honest, I don't know why they're taking part in this if they hate the show so much for what it kind of did. So I don't really sympathize. The fans think you have a pretty bright future on the Broadway stage. What a dream come true that would be tonight, huh? Should I be honest? Is it you gonna say no? Uh, um, not, don't wanna be a professional dancer, I just wanna be a video game designer. Of course, this is the time to show the fans the real you. Okay, well, I don't really like musical theater. I don't really like musical theater. We're gonna start this up again. I was like, I hate musical theater. And then their final routine was Alice in Wonderland doing a musical theater routine. You didn't seem to hate it that much then. <laughs> But you saved the team with that stunning performance. Did he have a choice? <laughs> it's Ozzy on Broadway forever and ever for me. Doing only musical theater forever? I'd rather poke myself in the eye with my bow tie. Let's bring out your challenge. I can't stand musical theater. I can't stand it. Why, why is he actually getting so caught up about this? Like, oh my God, why are people like praising me for doing musical theater on Broadway? I don't even like musical theater. Just be like, oh wow, I, I don't like it, but it's amazing that you guys think I did so well at that style. Take the compliment, man. Why are you being like, don't compliment me. I hate that style. From the back row, it's Heath. What up, Oswald? <laughs> what up? Oswald. Oh, we're not gonna start this again, are we? Nothing wrong with a little friendly competition. Why does it say Keith? Poor Heath. The fans don't know who the heck you are. I feel so bad for Heath. It's the choreographer challenge, one of my favorites. We all know how choreographers like to mark their dance moves with fun little sounds. When I'm choreographing, I click. So if I'm doing like a stretch, I'll click as I go out and I don't even know when I'm doing it sometimes. Well, I'm going to bring the noise and give you a series of sounds just like that. It's up to you to turn them into a sweet, sweet solo. I quite like that idea, you know, that sounds quite fun. Like if it's like, and then you have to make, because you would have to do the moves on the beats. Like that's quite a fun game. I'd actually like to play that. Boom, ka, 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 sa, snoo, snoo, fa, shaka, shaka, crack, sack, sack of the fuck of the cat. Ding, ah, shack, 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 ha, boom, 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 ka. 
I'm sorry, but that was so long. How are they supposed to remember that? I don't remember what the first sound was. How are they supposed to remember that and create a dance from it? Like, you're gonna send them the audio recording, please, because I'd need that. I thought it was just gonna be like four sounds. This is a B Troop song, I love it. He's my winner at the moment. And the winner is Tweedledee himself. That's me, right? Congratulations, Heath. Yay! Well, most of the comments were about how disappointed everyone was that Ozzy didn't dance this challenge in a musical theater style. What's in a musical theater song? At Superstar M46 says, if Ozzy's not doing musical theater, then I just don't care about him. Well, Superstar 46, I'm sure Ozzy's not gonna miss you, so. Congratulations on your win, Heath, or whatever your name is. Dance Man is literally so corrupt. I don't know why any of them agreed to do this. <laughs> At Superstar M46 says, who cares if she isn't the best dancer? She sure is sparkly and sweet. Wait, <laughs> Superstar. Superstar is killing it with the comments today. Hang on, hang on, can we go back to that comment about Lily's mom? Are they gonna show that again? Wait, isn't Lily the girl whose mom is in the news for like bribing dance judges? <laughs> I love that. Usually the fans decide who battles it out, but today someone from the back row asked to face off against you. I can't think who would want to face off, like who would want to go against Lily for some reason. Let's say hello to Amy. Hi! <laughs> Amy, why do you want to battle Lily? Just because Piper wants to go against Finn, probably. At Rob Zomboy says Amy puts other dancers to shamey. And at Little Biscuit says, why aren't we seeing more of Amy? She's great. It looks like the crowd thinks you deserve a shot at the front row, so... We love Amy, this. yes. Ah, the lip sync challenge. If this was season six, Lily, Lily would kill this, like... I miss season six Lily. I prefer season six Lily to season seven Lily. And season six Lily was like a bad guy, supposedly. I'm gonna choose a song that shows depth and emotion to show the fans that I'm more than just Flash. You haven't been Flash all season, Lily. One Boring. At least that's what at Where's My Phone 20 is saying. That's so, you can't just read the comments out while she's doing the performance. Like, just show them maybe. Like, don't cut her off. At Izzy Bean says, this isn't the Lily we love. Where's the Flash? I'm sorry, but when did Lily show Flash on Dance Mania, like, and be a featured person on Dance Mania? It's only really Ozzy and Rochelle that they've seen as themselves because they went solo at one point or the other. But Lily was just a group dancer. How are they able to say, that's Lily, this isn't the Lily we love? Doesn't make sense. Um, let me, let me use else. You got this girl, let's go. Woo! Yes, yes, here we go. This is a Lily song. So here we go, go, hey. with a little high and soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tides are turning at Paper Lion, says... Yes, Lily. Like we love season six, Lily. I feel like Amy could kill it, though, if she embraces her, like, goofier side. At Triple Threat 16 says, where's the technique? What technique? What technique do you want from a lip sync? Sorry. You need more space. Get up and dance. Okay. Yes, Lily, we love team player. Like, this is the Lily I wanted to see in season seven. Don't wanna break, but wanna go. There we go, that's the, yes, yes, yes. But some things can be right. A tie, I give it a tie. Some people, like Amy, should just sit back in the back row and let the stars shine. Sorry, but Superstar M46 is just a troll at this point, like, just being rude. Lily secures her spot in the front row. Nice try, Amy. What? Who? Who's the judge for these? Is it the fans? Because like, how did you just work that out? Just because Superstar M46 said they didn't like Amy. Amy was in the back row. It's my pleasure to welcome today's challengers. From the front row, it's Finn. And from way in the back, it's Piper. Hello, Pin. Liam's eyes are very blue in this. <laughs> that, that's the point. Are you ready to face off against the wet blanket? Sure am, Frederico. And uh, don't call Piper that. I want the world to know that she's super fun. If Pin are like this for season eight, I will restand them. Just cool 
comfortable, natural couple, nothing too over the top, we're not singing to each other or breaking up because one of us is late, just chill. It's Fruity Moons! <laughs> Wowzers, did anyone notice Finn looks like that kid from the Fruity Moons commercial? It's this bloody superstar M46, who is it? Can we please choose another song? Sure, Piper. Go against what the fans want. They'll love that classic wet blanket move. You know what? I'm okay if I'm a wet blanket forever. If it means that I don't have to do something that makes Finn sad. Yes, we love that Piper. Also, Alex shaves his eyebrows. Can we get an eyebrows? Like, woo! Love them. So, why don't we just have fun with it? What do you say? Yeah, we're ready, Federico. Oh, Alex is killing it with the... Oh, her whole look. That colour is so flattering. Can we just have Piper wear that outfit, please, for season eight, if there is one? Because... Sorry, but who on the Next Step editing team made this, like, edit of... <laughs> of Young Finn? Who sat on their computer late at night, like, God, I've got to make this the best montage <laughs> This duet's killing it, though. I like it. Was um, the image of Finn as a child meant to pop up over Finn's video then? Was that an error, or...? Because I thought they were going to be, like, flickering it and covering it up, like, oh, we don't care about Finn, we just want Fruity Moons. Piper is killing it. I love it. We get it. Finn was the Fruity Moons kid. Where's the range? Superstar M46, get a life! Do you know what though, if I- Oh my god, they've changed Finn's photo to the Fruity Moons kid. But I would put Piper in the front row for that performance. I think it was great. She killed it. This is the video that Jones posted on his socials last night. Hey, so, I've been watching front row. I gotta say, I don't get it. One of the comments is from Nick. This is Jones from Dance Man who's trash talking my studio. Wait, no, don't. Is that Nick? Baroness Van, Va, Von Dance, you are not coming for my daughter. Yeah, that's Defo Nick, and this is Miss Angela. Does anybody remember that the next step lost? Why do we care about them? My crew won the whole thing, so I'm calling out the next step. I don't want to reach, but there's a mocking Fabiana 4 that said, no way, the Baroness is here. Is that supposed to be mocking Ariana 3? Like, are they involving me? I feel very flattered if that is an involvement. I feel like, oh, that can't be like just a coincidence, can it? Unless you want to challenge me. Oh, I got this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll do it. Hi, Jones. Sorry, but how did you just get back in the call? I thought I told you to change that meeting password. Yeah, like you lock the meeting once you kick somebody out. Someone clearly did not lock the meeting. And at Superstar M46 says, Rochelle being a dance zilla. Surprise, surprise. Hey, that's not fair. I'm saving the team, not being a dance zilla. You don't need saving, Rochelle. <laughs> I think Kenzie's like, back off, Rochelle. <laughs> Why is she back? <laughs> At Tuba Tuesday says, I don't know what I'm watching, but it's fire emoji. I don't know what you're watching, Tuba Tuesday, but that was not a fire emoji, really. She hasn't really moved yet. Sorry, but the next step is totally overrated. All that and a bag of garbage. The only good people on TNS aren't even here. Hashtag wet summer. Stop it, please. I was living. Hi, Piper. What are you doing? This is just making everything worse. We have to save our future dance careers. If we're not in the front row by the end of this, then it's all over for us. I don't want to lose my spot. Jones has been completely knocked off the dance card. Wait, what? No, no, I demand a recount. This I feel like this dance man, if he has no structure whatsoever, like who, what is the scoring system? Are they just listening to comments and going with that? Is it live? Is it not live? I was trying to help the team, didn't you see? I don't know, you kind of are being a danzilla. Sorry, Ozzy. I'm not a Rochelle fan whatsoever, but even I can see that this is a little bit odd. Especially, especially if this is live and fans are watching it. The last thing you want to do is start arguing between yourselves. You just want to put on a brave face and you can talk about it afterwards. Like, you're just giving the fans more ammunition and say, oh my god, the next step don't even like each other. Are you seriously going to side with an anonymous commenter over me? They're not anonymous. They're superstar M46. That is anonymous, Amy. That's not their, on their birth certificate, is it? 
Bring us the most embarrassing moments and humiliating secrets from your fellow dancers. It's not about making you look good, it's about making your fellow dancers look bad. What? Whoa, wait, I don't like the sound of this. Yeah, thank you, Finn. Like, what is the point in this? It means we still have a chance to be professional dancers. But it's not worth it if it destroys the team. We're talking about our dance careers here. The rest of our lives. I know I don't want to be in the back anymore. Me neither. It's not even real. Just be a professional dancer some other way. We don't need dance mania. Do we save our dance careers and destroy our friendships or the other way around? What choice do we have? Just, uh, just leave. Well, this is obviously a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, thanks Piper. Piper's a mate like, we're clearly just making the wrong decision. I'm not going first, but I have dirt on all of you if you go and attack. So watch out. What? Well, we don't need to glow each other down. The fans did that for us. Hey Lily, you're all Flash. She was all Flash in season six. I didn't see any Flash from Lily in season seven. And you have no Flash. I know. I think Amy does actually. I think she has great stage presence when she's on stage. I mean, I'm super grateful to have you as a friend. And I know you're gonna be the next dance captain and leader here at the next step, so. Okay, so for season eight, we're either gonna have Rochelle being dance captain or Kenzie, because now Rochelle's basically said that she's She's already a leader. She doesn't need this. So, either one of them could be dance captain for season eight. And without your fans, your dance careers are in danger. So we're losing our fans now? We're losing our fans now? As you can see, you're now all in the back row. Says who? Who just decided that? Each of you will dance a solo to convince the fans that you alone and no one else deserve to have them on your side. So one of us gets a shot at a professional career and the rest of us lose everything? What? So we're offering a professional dance career. How do you even offer that? Like, like what do they give? Like a contract to what, Frederico or something? Why would you want that after you've seen what Maria was planning to do when she signed a contract? They haven't even looked into whether Frederico is also cor corrupt. Let's go. Okay, they're doing a group dance. How, when did you choreograph this? Just in case? Just in case they turned against you? Throw that wet blanket away, Piper. Eat those fruity moons, Finn. Yeah, Heath. You are Heath, not Keith. Yay, hashtag getting us together. But, right, if this is live streamed, the dance many people could have literally just not aired them as a collage. They could have just aired one person, <laughs> just to spite them. Why would, it's kind of like how when they broke the rules and danced as a group with Rochelle, they just let it happen. They didn't say, uh, no, stop, what are you doing? They just let them dance. It's like, just, just stop it if it's against your rules. It's none other than at superstar M46. Seriously? I can't wait to meet this person face to face. Who would say all this mean stuff about us? I'm trying to think who it is, but I don't know. For real? Yeah, you kidding? <laughs> I Maria? can't believe you're superstar M46. Oh, it's Maria. I, didn't, I literally didn't even know who that was. I thought it was Miss Angela because I saw leopard print. Oh, superstar Maria M. So that your fans would fall in love with you all over again. I mean, you need your fans, and now your fans need you. You're welcome. I'm really confused of like what she was trying to achieve. Like, I still don't really get it. I don't feel like she achieved anything. Hashtag TNS together dominated all platforms. Nothing else even comes Ooh, close. No, we did it. Did yes. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. How can all of those like nasty comments be like? Ah, uh, do you know what? They said TNS together, so let's now be TNS together. Things don't change like that. What? <laughs> Can someone get her out of here? Gladly. Yeah. Bye. What? No! You're all the winners, so I have to do whatever you say. Like, why would you invite in an anonymous commenter anyway? Because if they were a child, you'd then have to, like, get, like, permission from parents to actually show them on live and stuff. So I feel like that's totally unrealistic. I'm Frederico, and this has been Front Row.
you know what my overalling um, thought is? I like have no idea what purpose that had. I don't really know what it achieved, how it made me feel. I didn't really have that many comments about it because it was just kind of like, okay, this is happening. I don't really know why. I don't really know what the aim is. Didn't really have any plot holes to address or for me to conquer. It was an okay thing, I suppose. I don't know, it's not really my favourite. It's very forgettable to me. I don't feel like it achieved much, but it happened. Yeah, not my favourite. I don't really have any comments about it though, so just meh. Okay, a lot of things that I didn't really feel like made sense and I don't really know what where they stood on a lot of things. I liked Piper. Yeah, that's my overall thought. for Alex Chaves and Piper were brill. Loved it. Uh, loved them. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video then subscribe, like, comment what you thought. Um, I'll upload next week. Don't know what I'm uploading next week though actually because I've run out of things to react to now but I do have a list of things so I'll have a look on my list and decide. Um, yeah, I'll see you next week guys. I don't really have that many thoughts. See, I don't really have much to offer now, but yeah, I'll see you later.